So we've been talking about the importance of the business aspects of law firm, and in particular for young lawyers, getting involved and knowledgeable and conscious and mindful of how you're actually contributing at a financial level. One of the most obvious places this comes up is in the performance review, obviously, because it's the financial side of things that has a tendency to have an impact upon your wages. And it's useful to know what's gone well and what's not gone well. So what I want to encourage you to do is to track your contributions throughout the course of the year. This will help you prepare and it will help you tweak and be aware of what's going on as you go. It's terrible just to get to the end of the financial year and go, oh, I'm way under budget. I've got tons of people who haven't paid my bills and I'm not recording enough time anyway. Uh, that is not a good feeling. Now, most lawyers are pretty conscious of who their debtors are because their firms tell them to go and collect those invoices, but they're not always aware of all of the ins and outs. It would be useful for you to keep an eye on things so far as your own financial contributions are concerned. And even if you just jot them down, examples of good delegation, examples of bad delegation, examples of how you have improved in certain areas. Uh, is your time getting written off? Is it getting written off less than it was 12 months ago? How are your debtors going? Are your bills getting paid in a timely fashion? And if so, is that better than what other people are achieving? You don't always have that visibility on the finances within your firm, I know, but so far as possible, it is useful to track. If only because, and let's remove this from the financial benefits, because it does help how much you get paid if you can deliver financial benefits, but if we take that out, fundamentally, you wanna become a better lawyer. And becoming a better lawyer in part means you need to become a better contributor to the business of your law firm. It's not always about the legal side. There is a business component, there is a financial component because if your firm shuts its doors, that's gonna be bad for business and bad for your clients. So if you wanna become a better lawyer, tracking your efforts in these areas is going to help you identify things that you can improve on, it's going to help you identify things that you are doing really well, and hopefully it's gonna help you come up with more goals, more things that you can plan out, more habits to develop, and areas of improvement that you can identify. Remember where we started in this series is that a dedication to constant improvement across the entirety of your practice is going to ultimately do you better than simply hoping everything's just going to naturally get better because time is passing. This is one of those areas. And in particular, this is one of those areas that has a tendency to get ignored. Don't be afraid to implement strategies to help the financial processes that you are bringing to the firm or the financial contributions that you are bringing to the firm. A lot of lawyers only wanna focus on how much time they're spending on the office and how much time they're billing or how many bills they're sending out. That's not the only things that you need to be looking at. Look at your contributions to revenue, yes, but look at how effectively you're delegating and look at how effectively you're producing. How productive are you? How much do you get done for clients? Are clients just huge fans of yours because you have a tendency to get a lot done for them in a short space of time? That is a financial contribution to your firm and that is a very real contribution to your clients as well. So if you wanna be a better lawyer, don't ignore these financial aspects and don't be afraid to track them and use that for your goal setting as well. Your homework for this session. Set some goals, set some goals. What are the habits that you need to develop in order to improve your financial contributions to your firm? Jot them down as always. You've probably got a little book of your own by now if you've been doing this along the way.